hello guys welcome back to my channel greetings to you all as usual good morning good afternoon and good evening as usual guys to read full grand so here we have the living faith church pastor oyede Poso. he has been trending in a video from their sunday service i suppose the past sunday yes service his statement we are shocking so for those kind of what to be coming from a pastor so all these drama are coming as to prophet tb joshua's death and burial of course you all know none of the top nigerian well-known pastors attended the late prophet tb joshua's burial starting from the day one tribute and all that so bishop david oyede paul of the living faith church popularly known as winner chapel said he loved all ministers but i'm not a friend to every minister so no i can't so these are the words coming from a man of god before i play you guys the video we all need to lead by example so the muslim don't live like this i must say but this christianity thing is really terrible seeing pastors envying each other or what do you call this it's really bad oyedipo also added saying that nothing can work in nigeria i can't be your friend i'm a repairer of the bridge i can't hang around you this is the same country you all pastors are praying for for the better men saying nothing can work it's really funny and terrible so you christians out there has to lead by example pastors bishop whatever you call yourself i felt bad watching this and seeing him say all that just because people are calling you out and other top pastors for not attending the late prophet tb joshua burial ceremony yes you're supposed to be there for me guys may he so rest in peace and may god have mercy on all of us especially the christians people who scorn your goals cannot add value to your life yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Caution! There are people who must delete from your list of contact. Delete them. Delete them. There are people you meet that will end your life. Delete them from your list. Amen. I love Jesus. And I'm telling you, by the Holy Ghost, don't be the enemy of your destiny. Get smart. And walk in the truth. Get smart. And walk in the truth. I love all ministers, but I'm not a friend to every minister. No, I can't be. Don't let us deceive ourselves. Nothing can work in Nigeria. I can't be your friend. I'm a repairer of the bridge. I can't hang around you. So, guys, you can imagine that. What do you think of that speech? All these Nigerian pastors seeing themselves like God or what do I call it, man of God with the ego. So that's how I see it. A lot have turned Christianity to their own business. Yes, na hustle. Continue. They preach with their feelings and not like Jesus did. Hey. <laughs> So moving on guys here we have prophet shukwe maker yes popularly known as odumeje displaying in his church on sunday from his entrance scene to when he got to the altar so he has gotten a lot of people talking some people are asking what is going on here yes that's what is going on in his church so he has the most entertaining activities coming from a pastor i must say i like and respect him for that i call him the entertainer or the entertaining pastor so i will say odumeje came to the game well prepared this man will soon use the remake enter stage very soon so he's a cruise prophet you can't hate him this liquid metal guy has made a lot of people laugh and yes a lot are criticizing him also he does not care about what people say but guys enjoy the video and let us know what you think about Udumeje.
so here we have the nigerian basketball team and the usa team you all know the nigeria the tiger won the usa team stacked with all nba players so becoming the first african team to beat the usa men national team and their historic win has really upset the team usa i must say in the olympic exhibition in a video made by an american tv personality steven smith plus his tweets but when you talk about bona fide bona fide stars in the national basketball association we can pick at least 15 to 20 of them half of them are on this damn roster there's no excuse to lose to Nigeria. Some dude, Gabe Namdi, who goes by Gabe Vincent for the Miami Heat, a uh, Caleb Agata, uh, 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 Namu, or however the hell you pronounce his name. You give up 60 points on threes? Excuse me. You can do better than that. And oh, by the way, let's also look at Greg Popovich because he's a five-time champion. One of the elite coaches this game has ever seen. Um... Hasn't looked the same since Tim Duncan retired. A little bit different now. So let's point to everything. And let's understand, still in all, you have enough to win gold. It should not require that roster spot 1 to 15 is the absolute best that the NBA after his tweets and video the nigeria basketball team slammed the american tv personality for disrespecting the nigerian player so steven seemingly and so and purposely call out the names of nigerian basketball theme players he shot looks angered that the american team lost to the nigeria the tigers team so the nigeria basketball theme reacted to him asking him to put some respect in their names some of the Nigerian teammates did pick up offense in a video from one of them reacting to Steven's video and tweets telling Steven to keep calm or stay quiet if he has nothing to say. Steven Asshole Smith, or whatever the hell your name is, just like you said it, as a proud Nigerian and as one of the guys that started this road to tokyo for us to make it to the olympic three times in a row and discredit us by saying we don't deserve to beat the u.s first of all we human they lace their shoes up the same way okay they've got millions of dollars in their pocket they are in the NBA, and most of us aren't. But guess what? Not everybody is gonna be in the NBA. Just like not everybody is gonna have the same job as you. That doesn't mean you're the richest guy, but that doesn't mean you're better than you because they make more money than you. Those guys went out there and put everything out there on the floor. It's not our fault because you guys came out there and think you're supposed to be a walkthrough. Don't ever, please, don't ever disrespect the flag. Because there's a lot of people that put a lot of hard work in this to make it get to where it has, become, uh, has got to now. If you don't have nothing good to say about anything or anybody, please shut the hell up. Thank you. Like I said earlier, is a game and there has to be a winner and a loser so it doesn't have to get emotional to this extent a big congratulations to the tigers yes that's the nigerian basketball team they have been doing well and so far they have dedicated their victories against the usa and argentina to the late san sultan yes san sultan died the very day they won the usa team so sal sultan was a well-known basketball fan who helped develop the game in lagos a big congratulations to the tigers that's it guys don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends thanks for watching and see you in the next video